cannot keep my place You cannot take my place The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. To get to the I'm roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Open up! Let me in, quick! Not so fast. The password. John Who? Come on. Okay, John Who? All right. Come right in. It's a...
Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squad on us. You can't just come in here waving your peace like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah. You're dead, Pain! And what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Got me bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone food though. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gogniti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Let her lay on Gogniti's desk. Vinny Gogniti was a scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Gagnetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move.
You cannot keep my place. You cannot take my place. You cannot keep my place. You cannot take my place. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. 
Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood. Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There is no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Raglan Rock, the nightclub. Book me, take me in a home in the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be ready your face. Face, face, so 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 face. With Dino and all, I wouldn't say anything to his face. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Janela would threaten Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. 
Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong on you. The trio with the Dom's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Master of Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Babylon, Lucifer, Loki, Saint Tatulu, Lilithella! What do you